And you choose the silver beanie here, bringing the shine your way. And today I'm bringing you guys episode 20 of our Pokemon Platinum Extreme. And I'm asking us luck if you guys are hyped and excited. You can't wait to see what happens next. Make sure you go ahead and hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. Don't want to miss another episode. Don't want to miss one. They're, they're getting too intense. They're getting too intense now. We're in the final half of this playthrough and it's, get, it's getting intense. It is getting very much so intense. Now, if you did miss that grounding session, which we did have just before the start of this episode, um, a lot went down. A lot went down. And I... I was... It was it was too much. It was too much. We um we lost we lost a member. Um we lost our boy Tyree. Hang on, I'll show you. We lost our boy Tyree. Tyree. He uh 
the victory bell. We lost him due to a Rayquaza. That's right, a Rayquaza using Mudshot. And because Victory Bell is still poison, it was times for effective, and it literally one shot it. It had full health, and it just went, <laughs> and he just he just lost all health. Um, so yeah, that happened. So I was a bit a bit frustrated about that, just a tad. Um, we ended up getting a new member. I was debating on who to choose. Oh, it sounded a good thing. Um, also, I found out that uh, Rotom is actually route uh yeah one two one uh two one two which is uh obviously yeah which is we've already got a uh route one uh two one two encounter which if i'm not mistaken was yeah the mighty Aina. so rotom is just straight i'm just gonna release it the item doesn't exist so i i don't get to keep it um but um so we ended up picking a new member uh i was debating on who to use uh, I was thinking maybe I should let you guys choose, but then I was like, no, I've just done a grinding session. I don't want to have to do another one. I was like, right, we'll get him, we'll get him leveled up, and then we'll see what it is. And I ended up picking the Silcoon, because I was like, Silcoon evolves in one level. I was like, w w let's pick him up, let's see what it becomes. And who knows? Who, 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 what do you know? It evolved into a Tuxacroak. A beautiful Tuxacroak, flying water type. It's really, really sweet. It's even got Silk at the Lax, and it's just got hydration as well, which is just amazing. Um, uh, so it heals status problems in the rain. It's got that void in the alarm that's when it's on frame. We obviously the same moves it rocked with before. Um, but still, I was I was super excited. So we got Zona, the um, attack is broke. Uh, obviously, we've got still got Eliana, our score rupee. Uh, I tried to level up to get it to evolve. I thought it was level 37. It's not, it's level 40. So I was really upset, um, like during the grinding when I was leveling up to level 37, I was like, wait, why aren't it evolving? So I, I, you know, I had a quick little pause for a few seconds, quickly looked down, it's level 40, I was like, damn it. So it's level 40, this thing will evolve, Eliana will evolve into whatever. So for now, she's going to rock on our team and we'll see what it is. But it's the bug dark type skull rupee, uh, with knowing nature, oblivious in nature, uh, ability, front shadow sneak, geek drain, and aurora sphere. Uh, and then, uh, hang on, right, we're kind of doing this in the Right, then going backwards, we've still got Tharnamu, our Steel Ghost type Rhyhorn, uh, Timid Nature with Download, Vice Grip, Fang Attack, Poison Fang, and Leech Seed. I didn't really touch Tharnamu in running session at all, really. Um, we've also got Lamont. Now, Lamont, for those of you who remember, is in fact our Coughing. Coughing evolved at level 35, not 33. I'm very much out of tune with my uh, evolutions. Um, but level 35, it evolved into Lamont. Uh, so he's now Ground Ghost, which is an incredible typing. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, Hardy Nature still got Trace, which is really awesome. Um, 86 base power attack, which is really awesome. And he's got Mega Attack, uh, Mega Attack, Mega Horn, Wing Attack, Flash Cannon, and Leech Seed. Uh, and then we still got Landon, who's now level 40, uh, leading the squad, uh, Steel Type Charizard. Uh, quirky Nature with Tinted Land, Shadow, Heatwave, Confusion, and Super Bang. And then we also have. Shelby, who is our Torterra, our grass, what a Torterra. Uh, Holding Lucky, I'm trying to just keep it up going a little bit higher. Uh, we're Haste Nature, Vital Spirit, Leaf Storm, Earthquake, Thunder Punch, and Ally. So that is the squad. Um, so, as I said, we've, st we've got a really good like powerhouse team uh, like in the PC. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see how, how we go. But um, in today's episode, I plan to actually do the gym. That is my plan. Um, I actually want to do the gym today. So I'm just going to quickly get uh, some of the amulet coin to Landon. Um, actually, do you know what I'm just going to quickly do? Because I remember I actually uh, used a lot of my items uh, whilst grinding. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spend some time to quickly go sell stuff that I do not need. I don't need you. Um, I'll keep hold of that just in case. Soothe Bell. Uh, really? I only need one. Yeah, I'll just sell one. I only need one suit belt. Um, anything else I can get rid of? Yeah, not really. Okay, any rubbish TMs? Uh, bubble Bean's quite good. Anything else TMs, actually? I might have a quick look at if there's any ones that we can take. Alright, let's buy. Uh, Pokeballs, we don't really want to use Pokeballs anymore. Great Balls, we can't want to use. I'm going to pick up 24 Great Balls. Uh, potions, I'll just grab five because I like that potion just in case you need that little bit extra HP. Super potions, we will grab 30 of those. 
Um, and then, have we got any full heals? Oh no, we haven't got them yet. Mm, that's fine. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, what can we buy from you? Uh, no. Um, right, I'm gonna quickly check uh, our TMs. Uh, Iron Head. Can I learn Iron Head? Oh, Lamont can learn Iron, but you're still. Uh, you're Ghost Ground. Mm. Uh, wait, Brian can. Um... And that's annoying. Shall we cut them, Brian? That's annoying. Um... Hmm. You know Bubble Beam? Yes, you can learn Bubble Beam. I'll take it. Um, ah, but no, your moveset's really cool. Okay, I'll bother with that. Um, can anyone else learn Bubble Beam? Leon can learn Bubble Beam. Any other that amazing moveset? Uh, wake up slaps and uh, no, there's not any good moves. Alright, that's fine. We'll rock out as it is. So, as I said, in today's episode, we're going to take on the GM. Not quite sure what to expect. Obviously, everyone, uh, all the Pokemon, all the opponents Pokemon will have a level spike of 10%. So it'll be interesting to see uh, just how high, how tricky they are. But obviously, we do also have question of the day for you guys, and we're going to discuss it as we go through the episode. And uh, that is, what is your favourite game of all time? Of every single game you've ever, ever played, what is your favourite? What is your favourite game? We're gonna have a little think about that while we uh, when we while we start this uh, gym. What is your favourite? Your number one. What is your number one game? Uh, right. We are gonna give some items to people. So we're gonna give. Um, what have we got? Um, I think things that would actually benefit. Um, all right, ghost type moves, uh, ground type moves. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give okay, I know you're using that. Uh, sharp, yeah, I'll give that actually to Lamont because Lamont does have wing attack. Um, let me. We can check. Um, how many people have we got? We got, um, we got fine. We got. All right. So we'll give. Uh, wait. Where is it? The black belt. Give Eliana the black belt, and then something related to ghost type move. I'm pretty sure we have got. Oh, actually, no. Where is that? Where was that? What was that? Boot scar. Yeah, we'll give that to Farmy. Cool. All right then, we are ready. Let's gonna save. We'll be careful. We're gonna save. Now we can actually go do this gym. Well, I hope to anyway. We'll see how far we actually get. We may only just get all the trainers done and then we'll have to do the gym in the next episode. But still, that was our plan. Oh! Okay, I guess we're battling this guy. Hmm. Whoops! <laughs> I'm almost going to plow into you every time! So, how's it going, Silver? Buffing up your Pokemon, huh? Ha! I'll test you and Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are! I was not expecting a match. Okay. Let's see how we get on. He's got a Registeel. Level 37? So glad we did the grinding. Um, okay. A Registeel. Um, and Registeel is more physically defensive than specially defensive. So we're going to Leaf Storm. See how much it has. Let's Leaf Storm it. Not very effective. That is not what I wanted to see. Because Reflect raises his defensive. That's not good. Okay, let's go for an Earthquake. Let's see how much this does. Quite ironic though that we do no Leaf Storm and Earthquake. Two moves that. Like he actually learns like okay that is this that's super effective sweet i was just thought of being oh, like, oh my god that's gonna hurt i was like oh, cool. it's not super effective fine. quite defensive as well which is quite nice right i want to try and avoid using speed up as well as much as i can like i might just while it's um cool here it is still yeah so right so as i was saying before though uh, what is your favourite game of all time? Now, I have played quite a fair few games. Like, 
like not just Pokemon related. Um, so I'm curious to know what your favorite game, like outside of Pokemon. If you want, to, if you put, if Pokemon's your favorite game, then hey, pick Pokemon. But oh, Crota! Oh, what was Crota's type? It was pure water. It was pure water. Um, I'm pretty sure it was pure water. Um, we oh, we got to go for Thunder Punch because that was my special attack. Is I'm gonna go for Leaf Storm. It's stab. It's super effective. I know my special attack has dropped, but this should this should hurt. Yeah. Um. I'm really curious though, yeah, so what is your favourite Pokemon? And also when you leave your answer, make sure you include the hashtag, QOTD. Let me know your thoughts. Um, and also let me know your, your suggestions for male and female nickname. I like to I like to have your guys' input. Yeah, they reflect the world. So that's why Earth Pills and Jim put a search game. Alright, I think we'll do it. Um, so my favourite game of all time. Now I've played quite a few different ones, I'm sorry. I played my fair few range of games. Now as a Pokemon, um, like I played a lot of my games were on PlayStation One and PlayStation Two. Um, like PlayStation Three, I wasn't the big gamer. Um, then like Xbox, I wasn't a big gamer on the console. So it's um, my range of games are very sort of basic and boring. Uh, it's got Ledian. Look at that level. Um, was it Ledian Vistardo? The bite. Uh -oh. So for me, oh man, I finished. He got is it speed boost? Well, that just one shot. I'll take it. We defeated Smurf Fabulous. We got four thousand dollars. Thank you so much. Hey, <laughs> maybe you got better and a bit tougher than this since last time. It even shot me a bit. So yeah, I got a beat because I was careless. Oh yeah, I, I joined Mr. Wake as a, an apprentice. Like, I want my own theme song. His theme song, yeah? I'm just gonna say, my name is Fabulosa. I rubbish. <laughs> All right, so as I was saying, I keep getting rudely interrupted. Um, but my favorite game, uh, I think, would probably have to be Spyro, Year of the Dragon, on the original PlayStation. That game, I put so many hours into it. It is hard, like, for me to think of just how, like, how often it was me to play. I was playing that game. I played it so often. As well. um, so that game, without a doubt, is my favorite. Without a doubt, I put so many hours into it, going around, um, like, finding all the eggs, going through all the levels. You know, I played that game probably at least ten times from start to finish. I don't know what it is. I think it because when, when PlayStation One came out, like when I was really young, but we didn't have a lot of games, and so when we did get, oh, it doesn't affect your flying time. It's a fire thing. I'm part water though, which doesn't do much. Um. So when it was um. When it came out, like we only got a couple, like a couple of games, like a year, like, and that was it. So I remember having things like the original Toy Story Two, I think it was. Which was Toy Story 2 on the PlayStation 1. Uh, we had things like the Bugs Life on my PC. No. Um, you know, I had things like Monsters Inc. Scare Island, which was an amazing game. I loved that. Another game I put so many hours into. Uh, after all, we could do. Um, uh, no, we're, a spec we're a physical attacker. Give up. Um, so I put so many hours into it, and it's a game that I really want to play, and I really want to bring it to the channel. Um, so I'm hoping you guys, like, I'm hoping some of you guys maybe like the game as well, because we really would like to bring it to the channel at some point uh, in the near future. Um, so let me know if that's the kind of a game that you would like that you, you know, you would play. But playing that game that so many times was it was such a highlight to my my, my memory. It really was. We um like it's, it's it's just incredible thinking back at just how often I played that game. Um, like trying to go around each mission, and you had um what was the guy's name? What was the leopard's name? I forgot his name. The leopard that joined you. You know he was a bit of a clown. You know, but he he, he was cool. Um. Um, and then you had um you had the kangaroo. 
what was her name? Sheila? Was it Sheila? Pretty sure it was Sheila. She was a kangaroo. And then you had the sergeant. You had the penguin, which was like sergeant something. And they all had like little mini quests and things like that. And I really hope that in years to come they remake that game. Like they're doing now with um like they've done it with Crash Bandicoot. Because Crash Bandicoot was originally on the PlayStation 1, I think on the PlayStation 2 as well. And this year they're remaking it. Um for the um they're remaking the games into HD. And I was just like, oh, oh my gosh. Like, they're actually doing this? I was so excited. So I hope, oh, there we go. So I hope that they also um, release, uh, eventually, Spyro, like some sort of Spyro game, Year of the Dragon or something. Because those games, they were my jam. And if they were to release them, um, like on HD, like, you can, like, I swear as well, I knew that was, I will tackle, that's a bug time, ooh. Um, you can bet, like, I will be playing that. Uh, Fortress, that's the thing. Um, like, I will be playing it, I will be, like, busting my butt to get that game, and I will be playing it until, like, there is nothing left to play. Um, yeah, so that game... I, I'm a big fan. I might, even if they don't, like, we release it, I might just bring it to the channel purely just as a let's play. Alright, so we're not doing much of this thing. Let's go for a fly, just see how much it does. Oh, it's super effective. That would be cool. Uh, I also found out that during the grinding session, um, Garchomp is grass and ground. I did find that out. No, yeah, grass ground. Which is quite, he uh, which is quite handy. Um... So it's um, yeah. There's been a lot of games over the years that have been like a huge part of my uh, of me my, me growing up, and that was definitely one of them. So I wouldn't be surprised, guys, if in the near future, uh, the next like as one of these games that we do, um, my side games that we, uh, we will be doing, Spyro: Gear of the Dragon. Like, do not be surprised. Um, the next game is coming out uh, in the, like the weekend coming up, so basically beginning of July, so like the first weekend of July, is going to be, uh, we'll have the new Let's Play, uh, which is going to be a side game, which is non-Pokemon related. Um, but that will be starting, um, no, I'm just, no, I'm going to use um, but that will be starting, um, Hopefully, um, hopefully pretty soon. Uh, really looking forward to starting it. Uh, we, uh, we're probably starting to record it this week. I'll probably start recording it. But that's going to be fun. I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, but definitely, if you guys, uh, like I said, if you guys like games that aren't just Pokemon related, then um, this is definitely. Uh, this is definitely a good shout for you to take the opportunity and join us. As I say, we'll be starting a new Let's Play, which is really awesome. Non-Pokemon related, and so I'm so hyped. Champion Crystal? Yo, I wonder if he's from the Crystal Region. Crystal Region? Wow, from Pokemon Crystal. That's another thing as well. Do you think they'll re-release, like, Crystal? Like, they did for... They've done Red, Blue, Yellow, and now this year they're bringing Gold, Silver, but will they bring Crystal? I wonder. I hope they do. It makes sense. It would make sense, but who knows? Who Um, okay. Anyway, you know Aura Sphere. That did... Giga Drainer. That did nothing as well. Power Sneak? That did nothing. Oh, we're gonna crunch you because you did more damage. Whee! It's a Licky Licky! Licky 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 Licky! Alright, we're gonna crunch you. That does nothing. Ember, however, that does a lot. It's a moonlight. That's not Giga Drain. Get much it does. Nothing. And we're burned. We are switching right this out. Uh, we're going to go to Lamont. Uh, let's go to Wing Attack. No. Nope. Oh, I just went for Wing Attack here. Mega Horn. Ooh. Um, I'm not too comfortable with the fact that like, this thing keeps like hurting my team. I'm gonna kind of punch you then. Oh, it's super effective, so you're a water type or a flying type. That's good to know. Uh, no, we're not learning barrage. I knew it! How many episodes have I been saying 
Oh, see, this is coming. Alright, I'm going to land. I've been saying it for so many episodes, and here it is. Good rip. Hey. Oh, man. Right. Okay. Before I go any further, I'm just going to heal my team, because we are quite low on, uh, actually, do you know what? Now I can use normal potions. See, this is why I get normal potions, just get, rather than wasting, um, like, super potions, just use these. Uh, actually, let me check my berries. Have I got any to heal burns? I do. Right, okay, here we go. Right, looks like we're actually going to do the gym in today's episode after all. Right. <clears throat> Welcome! Don't I get- I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria Gym Leader! That's right, I'm Grasho Wake. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take up everything you can throw at them and pull you under them. Victory will be ours! Come on, let's get it done! I, th I thought that voice was actually quite fitting. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know. So, uh, yeah. An Anorith. I ain't scared. I ain't scared of no one that ran Anorith. Look at that thing. Let's crunch it. It's from Miracle Eye. That's a psychic type. What does it do again? I can't remember. It identified me. Oh, it's just like, um, foresight. Well, I'm not a ghost type, so it don't really help. Signal beam. Well, I'm a pop dart, but I'm still pop bugs. This should be neutral. It's a bug. Okay, so bug is still neutral against bug. That's good to know. But this anorith is going to go bye bye. That is excellent, then. Right. Seeking now. Hmm, I'm going to stay in. I'm going to stand against a Seeking. What level is a Seeking? Does he have a Seeking normally? I feel like he has a Seeking normally. Right, it's level 37. I don't feel too comfortable. But we are going to switch. I'm going to get into Shelby. Shelby! The amazing Torterra. x is a... I'm going to Leaf Storm you. See how much it does. Normally this is one shot. I know that. But, perhaps in this game, not very effective. This was Sandstorm. Interesting. That's Earthquake, you then. You didn't get affected by it, so you're ground type? You can't, because you must be a steel type. It's still reflective, because he didn't get affected by the Sandstorm. It was either a rock type or a steel type. Either or. But it was it must have been a steel type because grass was resisted. Grass is not resist ground and rock don't resist grass. It's super effective. And you still resist. So seeking is a steel type. Things you learn. Right, weightlifter sends out Cray Dilly. Cray Dilly is his final mod. Alright, we're gonna switch into Eliana because I'm trying to get Eliana to evolve, bless her. Um he goes into Cray Dilly, so I'm assuming this is your ace, level 40. Uh, we are going to switch into Landon. Landon being a steel. As long as this crater is not fire. Love. Did not be fire. Submission. Right. Are you going to get hit? It doesn't get hit. So it's again, it's either a steel ground or rock. We're going to super flank though. Okay, cool. At least we super land that. Alright, good. What was this? What's this? What's this? Citrus berry or something? Citrus berry. Skill swap. We're gonna swap abilities. What have I gained? What have I gained? What have I gained? It doesn't tell me what ability I've gained. Can, it, can I? Can I check? Tinted lens. That's annoying though, because tinted lens is a really good ability. Right. I'm gonna use this turn and heal. Just in case. Swagger. That's not good. That is not good. Okay, I'm gonna super fang you again. 
I'm not a fan that he has submission though. Okay, I'm gonna heal. He's probably gonna heal himself. Yeah, he's used a high potion. I'm gonna heat wave, I'm gonna test this. Are you a steel type? He's not a steel type. Wait, actually no, it didn't say, because it could be it could be. I'm not a fan, right, I'm switching. Uh I'm gonna shall we. I'm not a fan that this thing has submission because I'm waiting for the day it crits me. Okay. Oh, we barely got any moves. I forgot about this. Okay, let's thunder punch you. Oh! Did you see that? Come on, Shelby. Shelby, my beautiful darling. Yes, Shelby! That is what I'm talking about, Shelby. You, Shelby, are a legend. That is what I'm talking about. Ah! Uh, a soul. Oh, my goodness, I was so worried. Thank you, Shelby. Shelby is going to get a big, big pat on the back and a golden star attached to her name. That is awesome. Thank you so much. <clears throat> uh, it seems the Undertale, Undertale pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. We got the fan badge. Uh-huh. We got the fan badge. Uh -uh. You need that pen badge to use a hidden move surf outside of battle. This is a special reward from me in recognition of your team's power. We obtained TM55. What is it gonna be? Ice Fang. It inflicts doubles the damage on targets with less than half their HP. No, it doesn't. Use it to end battles to Steven. It actually doesn't do that. Um, that's actually quite cool that actually gave me Ice Fang, because normally, if I'm not mistaken, he has a Float Tool, and one of Float Tool's main moves is Ice Fang. Well, hey! You got the badge? You got the gym badge here, huh? What? What'd I tell you? Mr. Wake, I mean, the master. It's pretty awesome. Hey! <clears throat> What's this racket? Then, ah, it's you two! Hmm. <clears throat> oh, master! Listen, kid, I know your father. I won't deny that. But I don't recall ever taking you on as an apprentice. Not in the least. Besides, you two don't need me. You can become strong on your own without being my apprentice. It doesn't matter. I made myself... I made, I made, uh, I made you my master. I decided. But forget that. Hey, there's trouble brewing. A team galactic goon in front of the observatory gate? They said something about using a bomb. What? No one messes with Pastoria on the on my watch. He is gone. Oh, hey, Master, wait! That's kind of that's kind of the conversation that I felt they were having. Right, so how are we doing for time? We're not doing too bad actually. We are just on time, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna end today's episode right here. Um, with the grind session and everything, I don't really want to go too long. But thank you so much for joining us today. If you did enjoy, please go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe. And also let me know your thoughts on today's question of the day. What is your favorite game of all time? For me, Spiral Year of the Dragon, hands down. I do want to bring it to the channel at some point in the near future. Let me know yours, include the hashtag, because it will keep OTD. And let me know your thoughts. But with that, we're going to get out of here. Thank you all so, so much for joining us. And so, Beanie, I'll catch you guys the next episode on Monday. Take care. Silver is out of here.